Welcome everybody back to the second episode of this map. Yes. And this time I'm gonna detailly explain every single area that I planned so far. So there's only five areas. Yeah. So the first area will be this area, which will be like similar to the previous land of corruption map that I scrapped. It's quite similar, but. That map have a spiral down, but this don't have a spiral. I just make it simple. No need spiral things. Yeah, just end it with a big island. Why not? And I give you a one piece of pretty diamond. You know. Ah, yeah, one piece of pretty diamond here. <laughs> one piece of diamond. Yeah. I don't know what you can do with one piece of diamond. Interesting. So basically, the second area, I, I say there's a total of three areas in this void dimension. You can see bedrock now because I have not deleted the floor yet. I have not added the bedrock ceiling yet. Basically, this whole map will be encased in darkness, basically. No days, no night. That is why I give you a crocs. A lot of crocs. Six crocs, including that chest there. So you can just, you know, see the time of the day, and then you can set a spawn time by sleeping. If the clocks work, ah, yep, it works. Okay. So the second area will be. I'm thinking whether the that will be two more areas here, right? I don't know which one will be the second area. Let me think. Okay, the second area I decided will be the water section area, which is like floating. Water, yes, water puddles, and then slowly become a water, big water ocean area like a lake. And then there will be a broken shed in the middle with a netherrack island uh, beside it. So basically, the ship is like kind of rammed into the island. Something happened to it in the floating ocean area. Floating lake is not going to be an ocean, of course. Yeah, and then you need to swim to it, but it will be random puddles all around, blocks of water, so you need to somehow do a, a water part core there, or you know, you know what, bridge there, why not? But one thing for sure is, I am going to make sure that there will be skeletons. Interesting, right? Everyone knows what happens when you swim in water with skeletons. Yep. Fun times. I will add skeletons, definitely. This, I, I will say this is the hardest map that I ever made. Yep. It will be the hardest because I'm going to add skeletons fighting water in the second area. The first area, I go add gas. Uh, gas is quite easy to deal with, but I didn't give you a starting bowl, so, you know, Fun. Let me just decide whether I want to add gas or not because you don't have a bow. Or maybe I should somehow implement the bow somehow in this area. Uh, well, that will be secret because this map will be a secret project if I mentioned it before. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I mentioned it, I keep forgetting. Yeah. So, you know, just fixing all these light creatures. Times that day, why not? Because these light glitches are annoying me. Alright. So, the second area, you need to swim to the ocean and then into the ship. Uh, ship area. I'm gonna make it like the ship kind of broke in half or something. Yeah. Something special. Crack in the middle. Yeah, and then you need to swim into the ship, get into the ship, and the wool will be inside. This will be like a cruise ship kind of thing. Uh, gigantic huge yatch kind of thing yeah will be beautiful it's modern i'm gonna make it modern kind yes and the third area will because you know i have a lot of map ideas before but i don't want to make so much maps i just need to i want i just want to make one more map like this map just one more one last one and i need to combine all those map ideas into this map so basically, last time I got a map, I actually started work on those maps, just start the starting areas, and then 
my computer spoil and everything got scrapped so too bad <laughs> basically I'm planning to make a map that is like Clash of Clan kind of style but the Clash of Clan island is going to be floating in the air with void down below and then you need to kind of conquer the village <laughs> like a one man versus an entire village army or something and then custom mobs will be like those corrupted barbarians or something yeah, attacking you and to get the wool so I'm just gonna hide the wool maybe in the town hall section I'm gonna make a town hall yes sniper towers I'm gonna see what I can do with those sniper towers though or those cannons you know what like, the easy way out is to make those broken so they don't work anymore yeah <laughs> that would be much easier so they don't work anymore yes and the village is broken down and it's corrupted and all the armies have become like barbarian uh, corrupted things barbarian such as corrupted yes and you'll fight them yeah <laughs> that would be interesting so that's the third area all right and the fourth area I'm gonna combine the fourth and fifth area together like one link because basically I'm gonna name that fourth and fifth area combined together right that area will be like the link to all the old previous maps from the first map to the fourth map yeah basically all the areas will be in there not all of all the maps you know so basically it's the bed bedrock dimension as I mentioned in the last episode of this area uh, this map ma making thing yeah the previous episode yes so basically in a bedrock dimension everything will become bedrock for the first woo uh, the third woo actually first so basically I'm gonna make a cave out of bedrock like I said and then there will be a castle from the third map now I'm gonna implement the third map castle into this I'm just gonna copy and paste it turn it into bedrock like I said uh, if you're not sure what I'm talking about what castle it's basically my third map second in my third map the second area there's a castle yeah bad castle yes I'm gonna copy and paste it in turn it into bedrock all the rooms will be similar similar yes and I'm gonna make a nether portal in there so it teleports you to the nether but the nether section I have not planned out yet so yeah but basically it doesn't end there after the castle there's another tunnel that leads you down to the fourth maps one of the area in the fourth map yeah on my fourth map the impossible yes I'm gonna copy one area put it in and make it like the bedrock is gonna corrupt the whole area like that but it kind of stopped at the entrance of the area so the bedrock kind of stopped corrupting the pot zone and then the other areas will be pot zone yes and I'm gonna make lava flowing down from the ceiling like I said and that area will lead to the victory minimum yes and after the victory minimum I did not say that in the previous episode uh, episode basically after the victory minimum I'm gonna make a like an obsidian barrier <laughs> yeah and then you cross it and then you can see a lava ocean got a any idea because I I just put my third map's castle and my fourth map one of the areas in my fourth map into the map but what about the first and second map well as you know my first and second map involves lava oceans right so basically the whole entire map is like surrounded by lava everywhere so you know how I do the things down here right okay. so basically there will be a lava ocean I gotta make like obsidian uh parkour path or something like island mini islands to the middle section like a big obsidian spire thing and then over the spire you can see from a distance you can see burning slab my first map actually is called burning slab one of the areas I, I think I just gonna make uh, I just gonna put in the whole entire area of uh, the whole entire map of burning slab just right in there because burning slab is very small my 
first map is really small, so I can just put it all in there. The whole map will be in there, but it will be corrupted form of it, broken down form, and all the enemies will be enhanced, custom mobs. Yes, so it will be like if you guys actually play the all my previous maps, like from one to four. <laughs> I think the bedrock dimension areas and the lava dimension areas will be quite easy because you guys will know everything. The map layout, but you know the mods will be 10 times harder or maybe 5 times harder. Yeah, custom mods. And after the burning slab area complete, you will come to my second map area, home of the blazers area. Well. Since it's my second map and it's home of the blazers, maybe I will add a bunch of blaze spawners there. Yep, to retain the map's name, home of the blazers. Yes, and then the wool will be there, of course. And then, after that area, you will find maybe some abandoned thing or something, right? In a distance again. <laughs> yep. Somewhere in the middle of that lava ocean. And then in that, there is another teleportation area. The last one. It will teleport. And it will teleport to the last area. Which I have not planned. But I, I got an idea of it. Basically, I believe I started another mapping idea. I actually started creating that map as well. It's basically a map that you started off in a village and then you venture off to save the village from the corruption area. Yeah. Like corruption, a bunch of obsidian spires spiking out, uh, the obsidian acting as corruption. Yeah. Kind of that idea. Yes. And actually, it's not just obsidian, it's netherrack plus magma block or of the random soul sand or of that random. Not so nice blocks together in aspire format formation. Yeah, that would be a corruption thing. Yeah, and basically remember this map is based on land of corruption. So that is the last area. And fine, 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 fine. I gotta read this journal. And you guys will get a brief idea on what this map is. Whoever read this journal. I just want you to know that the world is getting corrupted by something evil. I am lucky enough to escape from the corruption by stealing this equipment plane that uh, uh, equipment plane and flying to somewhere far away, which I did not say where because it ended up here and I, it's me that wrote the book, so I somehow crashed the plane here. <laughs> yeah. And died here. Because, yeah, you know, you can survive this plane crash. But if I'm playing through this map, it will be kind of odd. <laughs> because I'm revived somehow again. And reading my gen <laughs> my own journal, it'll be funny. Alright, anyway, get back to the plans. So basically, the last area will be similar to that. And then you're trying to save the world from this something evil. Yeah, basically it's corruption area. So spires will spiking out of it. You need to go in there and get the last wool. Then go make it as hard as possible. All spires are around. Basically it's just tunnels through that corrupted area. Yeah. It will be interesting. Yes, it will be very, very interesting. And that's the last wool and you complete the map. Maybe you did not save the corruption, but you explore it. <laughs> Maybe. You gotta find some way to actually link the story up. Some way. Alright. So that's all for my plans for this map. Well, one advantage of making this video is not just letting you guys know my plans. It's basically if I forget the plans for this map or I somehow give up this map now. And then... I come back to it in a very far away future, maybe two years later or something. Come back to this map, make it again. I will know what to do by just watching this video. So yeah, this video will also help me to remember what I planned for the map. 
So basically I'm gonna end it here because it's reached 15 minutes. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. And the next few videos will be on my test world, not on this one because this is secret epic project. Alright, bye.